I don't dream a lot, so here's a dream journal. So I have the most bizarre dream, and it's fucked up because I know at least two of the people in it. The instances and interaction, but I don't know where the fuck we were and why the fuck we were there, but it seems like we're in like some type of concert state or something like that. And this chick came up to me, and she just started doing some weird shit, and I'm just like, I remember, because this has some ties to it, because I do remember when I first met the dude and all the things he's told me about how homies be trying to take his chick and all this and all that, I'm like, nah, I'd never, because at the end of the day, yeah, I used to help people cheat and all this and all that, but after doing it so many times, after hearing both sides' stories of how both dudes and chicks are unfair, how both dudes and chicks cheat, and how just, like, why... Am I helping something that is going to happen itself? Like, if she's going to cheat, she's going to cheat. For the fact that I happen to be the dick there doesn't mean, like, it's my fault. Like, she could have fucked me and everybody else passed me, or she could have fucked me and stopped fucking me. But how I think about it is if people are going to cheat, they're going to cheat. But if I know well enough to not uh, help them do it, then I'm not going to do it. But if I don't know well enough, then... Bitch, how the fuck am I guilty if nobody explained the rules to me? Bitch, how the fuck am I guilty if this motherfucker out here knowing they have somebody at home and coming out for me? Well, me not being anybody at home, I can do whatever the fuck I want to. But I'm the asshole. Okay, whatever. So, in the dream, like, I just remembered her. It's like, I remember, like, I was laying on the hill. They were kind of, like, up in front of me, and she wasn't really next to him or anything like that. But I just remember somehow she, like, snaked her way back to me. And she was, like, talking to my ear for a hot second. And I think I kind of remember what she was talking about because... The whole entire instance with him and I, very intense. But I was in dream state. I wasn't really upset. I wasn't really scared. Like, dude was my homie, and he still kind of is. So, like, I wasn't really all that worried about it. But it fucked up is she, like, told me some things in my ear, and then she, like, laid on my chest for a hot second. I'm just like, whatever. Laid next to my stomach, whatever. Close to my dick, whatever. Got an erection, stupid dick. That <laughs> stood up, and she just, like, tried to mouth around my dick. And I'm just like, this ain't going to go well. This is not going to Oh, well, this is not good. Because I just literally freeze in, even in my own head. <laughs> and then she just like kind of goes out of the way. My fucking Woody is still up. I don't know why I can remember this. I'm fucking wearing red shorts in the dream. My, maybe it's because it's a red flag. <laughs> so my shit's still up like a goddamn tent. Brody looks back and he's like... And then he makes his way back to me. He's like, what did you two talk about? And like I remember telling him what we talked about. But currently I can't fucking grasp what the fuck I told him. I think it was, like, stuff about sports and something else. But, like, it wasn't anything to warn me having an erection. So, that's essentially just trying to figure out, like, what the, like, you, y'all thinking about banging my chick? And it's like, all right, come with me. So, I end up following him, knowing damn well shit ain't going to be fun. And, like, we, I don't know how the fuck we got up to where we were. Because we're in a hill kind of, like, laying, like, we're watching a concert. But I couldn't really tell what was in front of us. Like, literally the whole entire thing was centered between her, him, and I. I just remembered after he told me to get up and we went for a little bit of a walk, he literally, being taller than me too, picked me up by my shirt, pushed me up against the wall, and I'm just kind of like looking at him like, fuck. Like, my first instinct isn't to attack him because I don't think he's going to hit me, but like the whole entire time, like, whoa, whoa, dude, look, I told you we were doing this and this, and I added in the part where, and then she came down and she happened to just play around with my dick. Like, bro, I told you I would not fuck your chick just because she's out here trying to fuck me. doesn't mean I'm trying to fuck her. I'm like, dude, just calm the fuck down. I think you need a new girl. I don't know why the fuck I remember that part, but, like, what she told me, I don't fucking remember. And I do remember the part where he grabbed me up by the shirt because it didn't even happen that long ago. And I'm just thinking to myself, wow. Now, what the fuck does this mean? Does this mean I'm going to be the fucking wrench in another person's relationship and not even intentionally try? I've d That's also the main reason why I don't even talk to people anymore. Because you never know what the fuck you're doing until you start doing it. It's just like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I'm sorry, bro. I wasn't trying to fuck up a relationship. I was talking to her. Bitch, you had a man at home this whole entire time. You, you, you. Calm down, bro. Just because he upsets you and he doesn't treat you well doesn't mean you're going to cheat on him. You should. Why don't you just break off? Oh, he's an abusive piece of shit. Well, you ain't bro no more. You're used to piece of shit. But if that's not the case, like, there are many and millions of reasons why people do the things that they do. And that pisses me off for the fact that I just did because I wanted to. Nobody told you to. Nobody gave you a gun and said, hey, do it. Or you die. Nobody paid you to. Nobody manipulated you to. Nobody lied to you. It was just I thought that happened in your head. And you're like, you know what? He hasn't been hitting it right. You know what? Her pussy's been feeling loose. You know what? I don't like him anymore. I'm gonna find a new body. And it's taking it from an old cheater. Like I never really intentionally went out to try to cheat. But for the fact that I talk to chicks, hang out with dudes. But I'll hang out with a group of anybody, more or less, just 
not too many numbers. But it's, I don't know. I just learned to stop being as openly available as I used to be because what well, does it matter? I've spent enough hours around most people that already know what the fuck they're going or not going to do. So what I want to do is what I want to do. What they want to do is what they want to do. Do they ever go hand in hand? No. So they don't invite me out as much and I'm like, cool. I can always do what I want to do and you guys can always do whatever you want to do. And if you guys ever see me, you guys see me. If you don't, you don't. It doesn't fucking matter. You guys, how I've come to learn life is you're going to put in work for what you want and what you don't want, you don't want it. Well, you want to be working on something I didn't want? I'm sorry. I only told you I'm sorry to make you feel better for the fact that I fucking forgot to do it. I do all the things I like to do. Yeah, I do all the things I like to do.